Well, hello guys and welcome to another toy review and today we're going to be reviewing this thing another Tomica which is from which is the Mitsubishi Kante Sakai what? Sakai Annoying Service? Moving Service by Tommy The Mitsubishi Kante Sakai Moving Service by Tommy so this is what it looks like. I have no idea what's written down there and down here. Um, this kind of strange because I'm Asian myself and I have no idea what these things are written on. What they are talking about, made in China as usual. So, without further ado, let's just take this thing out and see what we got. Um, and what? Uh, Alright. That's a very weird looking truck. So, it's, it comes in its plastic bag as usual. So, um, wait a minute. The hell is this thing? Okay, something is up. <clears throat> that is the thing I'm supposed to be reviewing, and instead of that, I got this thing, which is a, which is a, an upgrade actually. Wow, this thing is really heavy, and not to mention it's all made out of metal. What is this thing? It is a Dynapack. <coughs> It's a Dynapack steamroller, if I'm not mistaken, and it's all made out of metal. There is steering wheel over there, and there is the uh, driver's seat. There is the um, operator's seat, or not driver's seat, the fact I don't think that you should be driving this on the road, uh, because you'll be making roads. <laughs> so you are working, so obviously you're going to be the operator. So, there's a Dynapack, Dynapack, and it got some very good detailing around it. And that's the stream roller is all steel, all this is made out of metal. Mm, probably Zamek metal. A riveted not Philip screw head driver. So what does it say down there? Uh is the Tomika Tommy number fifty three S one spy S one two that's one sixty two scale and this is the Dynapack zero zero two one. <sighs> It's a very pretty hefty um, construction vehicle from Tomica. I don't recall getting this. Probably someone left it for me. It is articulated up front, so it have like some steering play. So just in case that you want to play this, want to play and you want it to turn around, like so. You know, you get like that kid that he wants to play with their uh, toy cars that was you supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, so a pretty heavy thing, much heavier than the Carmen Ghia, uh, which is weird. Riveted, these things are riveted on. So, that's it for my review of the Mitsubishi Kento van Sakai, the moving van thing. And instead, instead of that, I got myself this Dynapack um, roller, uh, steam roller, or something like that. Steamroller? Is that what I'm supposed to be calling it? Dynapack. I wonder if you still make these things. Things were so great back then. Detailing of the back side of this thing. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the very shoddy state of the box. Um, it has brown, it's brown everywhere and a lot of grime everywhere. I don't know how this happened. I'm pretty sure that the reason why it happened was because I left it in the um, through the environment and to the point that it's just Tori is it. I kind of like it though. It gives a sense of you know this thing has been sitting around for ages. So you know. Uh, you got at least not you know brand new. You got some history behind it. Probably owned by someone with a hard life behind them. So that's it for my review of this thing. See you later in a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe wheels roll front wheels roll really good looking thing you have to admit it 
And I wish they painted this. Dynapack. Alright, later.